1,500 people have died from the coronavirus here in North Carolina, and more than 120,000 people nationally. CBS 17 digital reporter Judith Ratana digging deeper into a CDC report providing a better look at who's most at risk. A grim report from the CDC gives a better idea of who accounts for the hundreds of thousands of COVID-19 deaths nationwide. The report found white men aged 65 and up with cardiovascular disease are most at risk. Patients who have COVID-19 are at increased risk for blood clots that can form in various blood vessels. This can lead to a heart attack or even what we call a pulmonary embolism. Nationally, men make up 60% of all cases, most of them with at least one underlying health condition. Making things riskier are patients waiting too long to see a doctor. You really don't hesitate to seek medical attention right away. Dr. Rao says it's important to distinguish what is normal for your health condition versus what could be a COVID-19 symptom. Let's say you have chronic lung disease. You're feeling a little bit more shortness of breath than normal. You feel like you may have a fever. Contact your doctor. Looking at the CDC's report for COVID-19 death characteristics, Dr. Rouse says it reflects what he sees in his office. You know, whites are still the majority in the United States, and cardiovascular disease is a very, very common disease. Uh, but it is concerning, certainly. Dr. Rouse says he doesn't find this profile of who's more likely to die due to COVID-19 surprising. One thing from this fatalities report that he does find surprising is online at CBS17.com. I'm digital reporter Judith Ratana for CBS 17 News.